how do you see the possibility of application using blockchain technology? What's your thoughts on the application of blockchain? So I think you know, Bitcoin has uh, shown the, the power and potential of blockchains, but they, the Bitcoin network is specialized to doing Bitcoin transactions only and uh, also supports smart contracts, but smart contracts are not as, don't reach their full potential when there's only one asset involved. So we see a lot of potential for blockchains for use in financial applications, uh, so with stocks and shares and also other kinds of financial transactions such as loyalty points um, and retail payments. From the user, consumer's point of view, how blockchain can change people, their life? Can we spend smarter life with blockchain technologies? Yes, so I've mentioned uh, smart contracts within the Bitcoin side of things. So within blockchains, we can see uh, more flexible smart contracts and the possibility for smart contracts that define financial instruments. So it's common with uh, financial instruments that you might buy as part of a pension plan or a mortgage or something like that, that there will be uh, structured products and derivatives and you know maybe the uh, pension plan is managed by a financial advisor who buys different kinds of uh, instruments to make up the risk profile of the portfolio. And so with, with those kinds of instruments, often there is some form of third party trust that there's an issuer who has you know, built some kind of product based on underlying assets and there's a legal contract that defines how the instrument works and maybe the instrument lasts for a, a period of three or five years or something like that. And with uh, smart contracts, we can replace potentially some of the execution risk. With smart contracts, you can trust the instrument itself because the instrument becomes self-executing. It's executed by the, the network, the blockchain. And so you're then concerned with the uh, custodians of the underlying assets and with the correctness and safety of the smart contracts but you don't have to trust the issuer of it. And so that can allow uh, new, new competition and faster innovation because maybe smaller companies with less financial records in history can, can enter the market and uh, deliver more innovative or lower cost financial instruments. So that can benefit the user and also potentially uh, reduce, you know, because there are less trusted parties involved, there then can be less risk of uh, financial problems from uh, failures of uh, in financial institutions. So ultimately we may see as uh, more of the financial infrastructure moves into the blockchain model, even a reduction in systemic risk because there is a form of sort of real-time audit provided with blockchain instruments that assures the end user and other financial institutions that interact with each other because it's very interconnected of the financial health of the other party. And so in, in the current world, that's not often immediately visible and maybe isn't discovered until a year or two later by auditors, at which time they've already extended credit to that institution and are impacted by the failure of one institution. So you get this kind of uh, risk contagion, which creates a systemic risk. So those, those kinds of things can be more transparent and contained with smart contracts in a fuller adoption.